Lone Ranger. horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. Quiet a long time. Tano, I've been enjoying the country, thinking how lucky we are to be here. The great heritage is. Makes you realize how the poet felt when he wrote, I love thy rocks and rills, thy woods and templed hills. Drop your guns. <laughs> I said drop them. What's this all about, mister? Just drop the guns and ride. You can get them back in two days from the Tallman City Post Office. I'll circle and get behind. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> What's the meaning of this, Mr. Dubs? Walter Dubs. Are you outlaws? No more than you are. This mask is on the side of the law and always will be. I'm the Lone Ranger. And this is my Indian friend, Tato. I've heard of you. I'm awful sorry, mister, for everything. But mostly, I'm sorry about Hannah's harp. Harp? Yeah, it's the only thing that Hannah ever really wanted. Kind of a dream it was ever since she was a little girl, listening to her aunt play one. Uh, Hannah, your wife? Uh-huh, just the other day, I was watching her sitting in a chair and sewing, and thinking how beautiful she was, and how good a wife she'd always been to me. That you dreaming about Farmer? About the farmer's wife? How lucky he is to have her. You're lucky. Why, Walter, a man like you could have had any woman he wanted. Haven't given you much. Never wanted. Been fed and clothed and sheltered. And loved. Any woman on earth could want for more than that. That's how Hannah was. She made a man feel ten feet high. But for 15 years, I'd been saving. And now, with her birthday just two months off, I had enough to buy her her dream. But I didn't have no money to pay the freight. So I told Hannah I was going to drive to St. Louis on business. Things went fine until I'd gone about 200 miles and was getting near Tallman City. Hey! Hey, you wild Indian! There's a wagon train! Come on, let's attack! Sorry, pale face. We engines were just funnin'. Funnin'? You young good for nothing. Hey, and look what I found. 
You give that back. That's mine. Oh, don't be stupid. We found it, and we're going to keep it. <laughs> Why don't you give the old geezer back his money, Wes? We don't need it know how. You're getting soft, hacker. He's gonna pay me for this. Nobody whips a tallman. All right, all of you, let's go. The drinks are on the old man. I had no gun. So all I could do was watch him ride off with the money for Hannah's heart. So you try to take our guns. Mr. Dubbs, this is something for the law to handle. I think we'd better ride in and have a talk with the sheriff. I guess I was kind of sudden, kind of childish, too. But I tell you one thing for certain. I'm going to get that money back one way or the other. And that's the way it was, Sheriff. Description's easy. It was Wes Tallman and a bunch of the Diamond T Punchers. Then let's get after him. Now, Mr. Dobbs, we don't want to cause any trouble over a little prank, do we? Prank? You mean robbery and assault, Sheriff. Now, see here. I can't accuse Reese Tallman's son of that just on this man's say-so. Sheriff, I knew Tallman owned this town, but I didn't know he owned you, too. Men have died for talk like that. I'm well aware of that, Sheriff. Mr. Dobbs came here for justice. You're the law in this town. Your duty is clear. All right, all right. We'll ride out and see Tallman, if that's what you want. It certainly is. Uh, I want you to stay in town. Find out all you can about West Tallman, where he's been and what he's done today. You may do that, Commissioner. Yeah. Wes is a little high-spirited, Sheriff. You know that. But he likes his fun. Sure, Mr. Tallman, I know. Maybe I've given him a little too much rain since his mother died. But a man's like that with his only son. That don't settle a thing. No. No, of course not. Well, let me see now. Wagon's worth about $20. Suppose we call it 50 to settle things. Call it 300 Now, now, Mr. Dubbs. I know I'm a rich man, but don't get greedy. Ten for the wagon, five for the produce, and 285 in cash, what he stole from me. My son doesn't steal. Mister, he stole my purse. You're a liar, Mr. Dubbs. But then maybe it's worth it to get rid you of You mean to keep that thieving son of yours out of jail? Easy, Dubbs. No. You talked about justice. Well, good. Let's have some justice. I'm going to have your son arrested. Get out, sod buster. Just a minute, Mr. Tolman. If he prefers charges, there's bound to be trouble. Sheriff? Get these trespassers off my ranch and tell them that, right or wrong, nobody puts a Tallman in jail. That uh, true, Sheriff? Well, as long as Mr. Tallman pays Mr. Dubs, I see no reason. For the wagon. Not a cent more. Mr. Tallman, I think we'd better have a talk with your son. What about, Mask Man? About the money for Hannah's harp, you little thief. Me? <laughs> Look, Dad, I'll admit we were horsing around a little, but. Well, surely you don't believe no, this. Of course not. <laughs> Can't you see, Dad? He's just trying to bleed you a little bit. Liar, tell the truth. I'll tell the truth. Truth is that you're a grubby dirt farmer who never saw five dollars in your whole life. Liar! Liar! Get a hold of yourself, Dubs. You too, Tallman. Who do you think you are trying to take a law into your own hands? I'll show you who I am. If you're not off this ranch in five minutes, I'll have you roped and dragged off. Are you all right, son? He, he tried to kill me, Dad. You saw it, Wirt. I want this old buzzard thrown in jail on a charge of attempted murder. Come along, son. Murder? Murder. Now look here, Sheriff. Well, you saw it, too. He did try to kill Wes. Well, he drove me to it. He beat me up. He stole my money. He lied. This man is guilty of attempted murder. So is Tallman for trying to crack his skull with a gun. Now look here, mister. Reese Tallman swings a lot of weight around these parts. I'll have to take him in. Very well, Sheriff. I can't interfere with the law. You can tell Reese Tallman for me. He'll never railroad this man to prison. I'm gonna kill him. 
You're going to stay right here until I can prove West Tallman's guilt. I'll get out, and when I do... Murder never solved anything. Now, you listen to me. I'm your friend. You said there was one man who objected to West Tallman taking your money. Did you hear his name? Hacker. He called him Hacker. Now, will you leave me alone? Restaurant man say West Tallman leave town this morning, drunk and broke. And come back later with plenty of money. Good work, Tuttle. That's not proof, that's hearsay. You can't buck Reese Tallman without absolute proof. And we'll get that proof. We're going to talk to an eyewitness. Come on, Tuttle. Say Hacker sent the line camp at Alkali Spring. That's 30 miles away. Ah, him sent far as possible. Me think was Talman afraid him tell truth. He's going to tell the truth, Tuttle. Come on. Pull up! All right, now throw out your guns. You're running a bad hunch, mister. It doesn't matter if we ride on. You're trespassing on Diamond Sea land. Now, the quickest way off is back the way you came. We ain't riding north. No, Injun. You're wrong. You go back the way you came. Either in one piece or full of holes. No point getting ourselves killed over an old farmer. Let's do what he says. Uh, who care about old farmer? Now you're playing it smart. All right, now turn around and get moving. Now, Tonto. See that, mister? He missed. But I'll shoot your head off if you don't forget what you have in mind. You're not scare us, boy. We'll get Hacker and bring him back to testify against you. No, mister. You get on your horse and go back the way you came. And if I ever see you on Diamond Tea Land again, sir, help me, I'll bury you on it. You'll see us. When you do, you'll be sorry you ever started anything you couldn't finish. <laughs> Your move. Hmm? Oh. Still thinking about your wife? We don't have no relatives. What's she gonna do without me? Who'll take care of her? It's all that West Tallman's fault. I'll kill him. Take it easy, Dubs. You'll get a fair trial. It's him that ought to be tried, not me. Stop brooding, Art. Want some coffee? Oh. Oh, I, I got something in my eye. Here, let me see. Huh. I don't see nothing. See this, can't you? Now take it easy, Dubs. Take it easy. <laughs> Mister, get me out of here. He's escaped. Dubs escaped. He tricked me, stole my gun. Where key? On the desk. You know which way he went? North, but the sound of the horse's horse towards the Talman Ranch. He's got a rifle with him. I gotta warn Reese Talman the old man's gunning for his son. If you tell him that, he'll have 50 riders out to gun the old man down in his tracks. It's my duty to warn him. Open the cell. What do we do, Mr. Savi? We've got to find Dubs before Tallman finds him, or before he finds Tallman. Either way, it'll be cold-blooded murder. Come on, Tuttle. Leave 
trail here, Kimisabi, and go up trail. There's a lot of hoof prints here. Now, that wagon horse wear big shoes, and plenty heavy and slow, too. We catch up pretty soon. Dubs is armed and desperate. If we want to save his life, we have to trick him into giving himself up. I'll explain it to you as we ride. Dubs! It's me, the ranger! Stay where you are. I've come to help you. You're on Talman's land. They'll gun us both down if they find us. Get back! <laughs> Listen, you hear that? Oh, no. You tricked me. I had to, Dubs. By now, the whole Tom and outfit is gunning for you. What's the use? There ain't no justice, and I'm getting too old to fight. You're fighting it the wrong way. And you give up wrong way, too. There is such a thing as justice. We're going to get it for you. But not at point of gun. All right, take me back. Take me back. Good. That's what I wanted to hear you say. Tano, how long will it take you to ride to Alkali Springs and bring Hacker back? One day, if him talk. He'll talk. That's why they sent him away. They're afraid he'll talk. Who cares? I don't. It's not for me. It's for Hannah. Poor Hannah. You not worry, mister. You not go to prison. And your Hannah, she get her harp yet. You see. The Indian cares. He really cares. Of course he does. All good men care when they see injustice done. We've waited long enough. Order. I now declare this court in session. Bring in the prisoner. Coming up, Your Honor. Just a minute, Judge. Give me one more hour. What difference can it make? You're out of order, mister. You said you'd have the witness here by sundown. All right, Dubs. You're charged with the vicious offense of felonious assault on the person of West Town. Now tell me, do you plead guilty or not guilty? Well, I... Oh, guilty, I guess. No, Dubs. You're innocent until proven guilty. One more word out of you and I'll hold you in contempt. As judge of this court, the power vested in me, I hereby sentence you to... I told you, Judge, my friend would be here. Ah, me bring witness. Him say, him see West Tallman take money. You did, Hacker? I sure did, Judge. It's a lie. Hacker's a bare-faced liar. Am I? Take a look at his face. Ask him why he sent me into Alkali Springs when I told him I wouldn't lie for him. No, Dad. Don't believe him. Then why did you run away? Because it's true, Mr. Tallman. True? Arrest him, Word. Stand back! No one arrest a Tallman. A Tallman. You young whelp! Don't move anyone. He'll shoot. Come on, Tonto. Not now, boy. You catch yourself when you lie about Dubs. Think it over, son. You bought your own ticket to prison with the money you stole from Mr. Dubs. On your way. Oh, Walter, this is the most wonderful birthday surprise. I haven't had a birthday party since I was a little girl. Well, reckon it's about time I fetched your present, Anna. Tonto?
present, too? Oh, I'm afraid he spoils me terrible sometimes. <laughs> he thinks I don't know. Bet she brought me back a fancy handkerchief from St. Louis. He never forgets me. Happy birthday, dear. Happy birthday, Hannah. Walter Dobbs. It's real, Hannah. It's real. Real? A real heart. Oh, Walter. I knowed it. I knowed she'd ball. <laughs> <laughs> From us, Hannah. Happy birthday. Oh, look, there's writing in it. It says, Happy birthday, Hannah. From Tonto. And the Lone Ranger. Are you silver?